you didn't just kill him, did you? Negative. Okay, cuz. Um, where did you run to? He ran, uh, down the corner. The corner? But isn't there a, a turbo lift at the end? Yeah, there's a turbo lift right here. There's a hallway right yeah. here. Did he go up or down? Yeah, did we see? He went down? Or he went uh, right? Uh, roll perception. Oh, I mean, I was chasing after him, and I'm specifically right. watching You him. were, yes. No one else was. Yeah, you saw that he went down. Elant also saw that. Del didn't see that. Okay, well then I sprint forward at full speed again. Okay, John. Hmm. Uh. Do I know that? Uh, do I know that Amon went in, went into the armory? Um. Well, if you look down the hallway, you don't see Amon. So you could just say over the comms. Where did you go? Okay, I came to my comm and I called to Alan. Hey, where did you go? You just vanished out of the hallway. I'm looking for tools to help us in persuasion, and I think I found uh, at least something that would do the trick. Can you just tell me that you're in the armory so I can ask you for grenades, please? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I stepped into the armory. Since it was on the way, I noticed uh, when we came down here before, there's a... Uh, there are a few things here that will help in persuasion, particularly those of explosive kind. Outstanding. While you're in there, can you can you grab me a pair of uh, hand grenades? Oh, looks like I'll snag you a bandolier. Will that do? I only need two. Anything else is just gravy. Uh, why not get a bandolier then? It's gravy. All right. Thanks. And then, um... I, I hit this guy with my rifle pretty hard. I, do I need to make sure he's going to survive? Or do I, can I just assume that he's, he's rugged enough to survive that? Because we, we, I mean, well, the point is we want to capture him and, and interview him, right? Mm -hmm. so, so he has to survive. Yeah, uh... Can you make a life sciences check? I, I, don't, I think I have to be trained in that, don't I? Wait a minute, what even is that life sciences? It's a knowledge check. Yeah, it's a knowledge. Uh, uses in, uses intellect. Okay, so I don't I don't have to be trained in that. I can just do it. Not if the GM yeah, says. It, yeah, just roll it. Okay. GM says roll it, roll it. Okay. Yeah, you don't know that much about Trand Oceans. I mean, you've heard they're tough, but you did shoot him right in the face, and he sort of just like sat down, right? <laughs> surrendered right after that. So checking on him wouldn't be the worst idea. Okay, Del. Well, that was 12 squares, so... Out of... Okay. Yeah, you can look at him on the next turn. Okay. Del. And I'll come over to um, Well, we've got the transition to surrender. 
still in pursuit of the other one. He went right down the corridor. Alright, I saw him turn south. Uh, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, Alexa. Alright, I run as far as I can get with... In case anyone cares, right across the medbay, right here, is the security office where Dirk is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Somebody tell Dirk to get out and come on. Can't, is it, hasn't he been listening to our comm? Yeah, I figured he would be, but apparently not. Okay, I'll do two things. I'll run down this corridor as far as I can get. I'll calm Dirk and I'll say, I'll, I'll say, we're leaving. If you'd like to come with us, Dirk, now's the time. And then I'll also say, also, Aiden, if you're in the honorary, be sure to pick up some ammo if you would. Oh, lass. There's a lot here. Well, I'd like to use my new fancy gun a little bit longer than my the 50 charges. And then okay. I'm gonna run as far as I can get with Kalani down the hall. Probably past everyone, which will be quite interesting to see me running at full speed past everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Dirk sort of is like, wait, wait, whoa, what's that? Everyone's leaving? What? I thought I was... I was working to try to eradicate the virus. Should I stop doing that? Don't leave without me. Did you not hear the announcement of evacuation? Yeah, they said to evacuate the uh, the engineering deck and the cargo bay. I'm not in either of those. The rest of the crew is just prepping for evacuation. I didn't realize that it started. Like, as he says this, like you hear his like breathing like getting heavier. Like, you can tell that he's running. <laughs> Well, the virus was mostly eliminated. It should be fine. Just hope the evacuation shuttle you're on doesn't get shot down by the virus. <laughs> I would have left that part out, but okay. Well, I don't want him to not disable the virus completely so we get shot down, too. They put my little heart at ease knowing that when this ship breaks in half and burns up and re-entry into the whole orbit, that there won't be any viruses on it. Well, they're they're going to be to they're towing it into docking key repairs. It's not going to burn up in atmosphere. How far did I get down the hall with Kalani? Um, twenty four squares. Okay, Elon. So you have like right. a specific list of things in mind that you'd want to get, right? Yeah. Um, I want to snag a bandolier of grenades. Uh, several uh, power packs and I was looking through the ranged weapons they don't have they don't have what I was wanting to get but they do have something else um, oh what exactly were you looking to get uh, basically a big cannon you know like what the the, tr uh, the trooper uses in SWTOR I'm not sure that's actually a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are like heavy repeating blasters that you have to like brace in order to fire. I think it'd probably be one of those, right? It would be something like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, a missile launcher. I was looking for one of those. Oh, I said there were missile launchers. That's okay, not yeah. what the trooper has, though. Uh, He's yeah. got like a giant Gatling gun. Yeah, uh, I'll get a missile launcher and one missile. Okay. So a loaded missile launcher. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to make sure he, he understands the severity of his situation and he better... Don't forget the explosive charges. Oh yeah, and the explosive charges since I'm shopping. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna say it takes you like three turns to grab all that at least. Yeah. That's what I figured. I, I figured enough power packs to satisfy a couple of reloads and whatnot. And then the bandolier, which would be quick, but the launcher's going to be the heavy thing. Okay. So DH5 Alpha says, what should we do with the prisoner? 
bring him with us. If we get into a fight again, you can discard him onto the ground, but be sure to recollect him before continuing on or the fight's over. We're going in pursuit of Zar. That's correct. Okay, he just picks up Call and starts running. Okay, because... Okay... So, the straight run thing again. Yeah, so now behind you in the corridor, we have, like, Lexa carrying Kalani, and we also have DH5-Alpha carrying, like, the giant armor-wearing Trandoshan and running down the hallway, and then the little tiny droid is running after him. I want to carry somebody. <laughs> you can carry Derek. Oh, that's right, that was the end of the turn. So, yeah, so all of a sudden, you guys also notice that, um... That like Dirk runs out of the security office, like looks down the hallway and sees you guys. And he's like, "Wait for me!" Heel toe, son. So I take it you want to get us all shot down. Okay, John. Motor. Uh, I, I guess I'll sprint. Um, okay, Dell. Moving. Okay. And Picasso, can you see him? Uh, I couldn't see him when I looked last time. No, I don't see him anywhere. Oh, right, he says he's the one with the self field generator. Check again. Yeah, Picasso used the full round action of running so he doesn't get a perception check. Well, yeah, I know. But like, next time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Roll my next turn. Mm hmm. Oh, are we supposed to be rolling perception, looking for this guy? Well, we saw him turn down. Well, he ran corner. around the corner, so yeah, unless you can see through walls. Okay, Alexa. Up oh, where you been at? Yeah. Yeah, down here. over to the right. Yeah. I mean, he could have turned invisible and come back. That is true. I guess I shouldn't give away secrets. Okay, everyone, roll perception. <laughs> but it has to get your turn though. If you want to roll perception, you can. Okay, Eiland has finished picking up the energy cells. He's now going over for the bandolier of grenades. John, the uh, DH5 Elva runs past you. Okay. Okay, Picaz, make a perception check. Well, yeah, okay, I'll do that. But there was a full round action I wanted to do. Will the perception check require that I can't do a full round action? No. Oh, yeah, I see him if he's inside. <laughs> okay, so suddenly you notice, um, like, you see him, like, run, like, right up to you. Like, from your side, he like is running at you, and he uh, attacks you. You hey. did. So, uh, what's he attacking you with? A viper blade. Oh boy, I don't. I think that might actually not make it over. Oh no, that actually just 
exactly me to. Okay, does it go over your fortitude defense? Uh, the damage? No, the attack roll. Measled. I always thought it was the damage <clears throat> that's supposed to go over the fortitude defense. Well, we're not defense. talking about the, uh, or that. We're talking, because remember, it's a poisoned. Yeah, uh, re-roll re re the attack, sorry. I thought visionary defense just added a plus five to your reflex defense. Or maybe it does. You're right. Okay, right, so well, if it's... Yeah, it doesn't hit me. Never mind, sorry, I forgot it's not a reroll. When ally was in, is that within 12 squares? Yes. Yeah, that's in 12 squares. Okay, so he runs at you while he's invisible, but the poison doesn't fight. <laughs> but you somehow see him coming, and Del, like, works it out so that you're able to, like, dodge out of the way, right, as he, like, slashes past you. But he projects a vision into my mind of the path uh -huh. the cut's gonna take, and I dodge out of the way. That's how it's supposed to work, everybody. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Sucks to be you, and now he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, does that go over? Yes. I'm going to move him. Let me see. Right there. And hold him. Okay. John. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sprint. Del. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> really? Stationary target. Can't hit stationary target, guys. Can't do it. Filthy, so filthy he, um... dice. You're just yeah. way too excited about using it. Yeah, you run over and, like, I don't know, somehow, like, he's stuck against your arm or something. <laughs> I think that roll means he couldn't get it off his belt. He squeezes too hard and it snaps at him. God. Yeah, so you just he, miss comically. He draws the weapon, he accidentally <laughs> sees it and goes, Ah, a snake! Sarge, <laughs> 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 like, sees you come over and totally fail. He just, like, he starts laughing. He's like, What was that supposed to do? Okay, Alexa. Still running with my, with my cat friend. This is actually funny, considering that most people, like, you put cats on your shoulders, and I have a really big cat on my shoulder. <laughs> an eight-foot-tall cat. Yeah, yeah. Or seven-foot, however tall she is. She probably wouldn't appreciate me comparing her to a people-sized house cat, but that's kind of what's going on right now. <laughs> actually, um, DH5Alpha says, Second target located, should I discard? Czar and I mean call and shoot him. Yes, knock him out too. Unless he wants to come along peacefully, in which case we can still knock him out. Yeah, so he uh, shoots him. And uh, Alon. Is picking up the rocket launcher. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Because hold him really oh, still. That was I the have other good aiming with this. I'll hold him another full square of Okay, he uh, reignites his jetpack. Tries to escape. I'll be there in a moment. I've got a very convincing, persuasive tool. So he all of a sudden like, becomes harder to, uh, a little bit harder to grab as he um, turns on his jetpack, but you're still able to keep him in place. Okay, what do you want to do? 
I'm just going to use my standard action to hold him there still. Okay. I'll move him and I'll move him backwards a little bit so he's an easier shot. Two more squares. And that way Dell can move away if he so desires. Okay. Because poison blades are not fun. John. Okay, so the situation is he's held in place by magic and he's trying to fly away with a jetpack with a poison knife in his hand. Yes. Uh, I have pretty high fortitude defense. So uh, I want to I want to try to just take off his jetpack and like toss it aside so he can't use it to escape. Well, you how can I do that? Um, just roll grapple. I don't want to try to disable it because that's going to be some kind of mechanics or computer thing. Yeah, I mean, you could just try to shoot it. I mean, the thing is, he's so he's being levitated in the air and he's sort of like struggling against Kaz's force. So you have to like run around behind him and then like jump onto his back where there's fire from the jetpack coming out. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a very good idea, but you can try it. Okay, well, that, that's why I'm at. I kind of just. just explaining what I wanted to do to see if yeah. it was... I mean, I'd say if you wanted to take out his jetpack, the easiest way it would just be, like, run up behind him and try to shoot at it. Well, well let's, let's, let's try this first. <clears throat> I'm gonna look him in the eye and say, hey, take a look at the droid and your lizard buddy. You, you're done. It's over. Stop, stop, stop resisting. You've lost. I can so, do this all day. Do I, need, do I need to roll something? Persuasion or whatever? Yeah, you can roll persuade. Like, I'm trying to help him by saying, I can do this all day. <laughs> actually, I think I have a thing where I can actually help. Can he? Can I roll with advantage or something? Yeah, sure. Just roll it twice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, kidding me! My, my, great, my great 25 gets nothing. So what are the chances of rolling like that twice? <laughs> I just can't make this stuff up. Okay, Del. Hey, what does he say? How is, is he oh. not convinced? He just hisses at you. <laughs> oh, that's not very ladylike. I didn't know he was a girl, but okay. Goodness gracious, I, I knew better was... rolls. This is just absurd. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything so much. Yeah, so that misses. That's, uh... I use Galani's foot to activate the elevator. A oh, little air message pops up. The turbo lift is disabled. Who disabled this? <laughs> Who do you think? Uh, yeah, we told the people up in the bridge to do that. Well, that was dumb. And I come back like, to the bridge. Somebody turn this perturbo lift back on. Affirmative. Have the bounty hunters been dealt with? Yes, turn it back on. We're all gonna die. Move it. Okay. We can now begin evacuations. That's good. And you guys all here over the ship, like... Begin evacuation procedure beta and just like all their instructions follow after that after this we're definitely going to have to work on planning and i again use her foot to activate the button we okay. didn't want we didn't want them to be able to escape on their ship as soon as oh, you press the button the, the turbo Fine. lift opens elon is done collecting his stuff now i'm gonna go run and as much as I can and chase after them. Okay. It's not a straight line, only your boot. Yeah, so yeah. I'll spell, I, you make I it my inability to hit him on, on down, you not holding him hallway. steady. <laughs> I mean, his jetpack hold is still. Sort of, <laughs> he does have his jetpack, so. Yeah, blame the jetpack, not me. Okay, DH5, Alpha opens fire. Oh, so you guys are just right out here in the hallway. Okay. <laughs> Hits him right in the side. 
Oh, that hits? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. that is. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're so used to it. I just okay. assume nothing hits. Czar um, reaches down and, like, flicks um, a grenade off of his belt in Picasso's direction. Oh, it's a stun grenade. That's an en that's energy, technically, isn't it? Yeah. Um, How fun! I think you need a talent, though, so that negate energy works on area of effect attacks. Well, we'll figure that out, and other people can keep doing stuff while I figure that out. Okay. I also don't actually know how a <laughs> stun grenade works, so, yeah. Who's going next? Oh, you're going next. <laughs> You, you roll the damage, and if it hits half of the... Uh, oh, it's just like a stun weapon, okay. Yeah, and it then have a... you subtract half of the damage from the hit points. And there's like some rule if it goes over the forge, you have to go down to on, on the condition track. Oh, I think what you wanted, Aelin, was a blaster cannon. A portable shoulder-fired blaster cannon. Typically used as an anti-vehicle weapon. Yeah, basically. I, I, while explosives are good, uh, like on a ship, it's not necessarily the best. So I figured something like a... a okay, do, you, do we want to say you actually grabbed that? Yeah, let's you do grab that. You grabbed that instead of the rocket launcher. Yeah, it's yeah. energy. Where are you guys getting the idea that these naval vessels are made of tissue paper on the side? <laughs> We're getting the idea from it's the falling that apart. this ship is basically already cracked in half. Because Paquez uh, kind of messed with the structural integrity of the ship earlier, and yeah. You guys don't know that. Okay, yeah, so you're you being shot at. You just absorb all the energy. Like, the grenade goes off in a burst of energy, but just, like, seems to all, like... I don't know if you, like, put your hand out or something, but it just, like, all, like... Psh, like, all just gets funneled up, absorbed into you. John. Alright, that's enough of this. Just because hold him steady. And I, I level my blaster rifle at his chest and pump a stun bolt into him. <laughs> like, right before you fire, he's like, I surrender! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Too bad. <laughs> okay, so make a roll. What roll? Uh, the regular attack roll. I think oh, the damage die are serious. The, the damage die are different. They are? I thought... Yeah, it, I... it does different amount of damage, yeah. Can I just, like, change it real quick on my... On my, it's it's one dice less. We'll just take out the last die and then we'll just roll it. Okay. So oh, that was take out the seven. That's so sad. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm keeping it because it was aimed, and I just won't use my extra dice. Can I can I do it aimed with a stun? <laughs> That's a great question. I don't think it says you can't do that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna not roll my extra. Okay, so it does half damage to him, and then if the non half damage is over his damage threshold, he moves down on the condition track. So. I'm sorry, I didn't know you'd have to do math. That's also a devastating attack, and the count the target damage threshold is less. Oh! <laughs> my devastating stun attack! So devastating. Um, I am standing arm's length sure. away from him. And he can't move. Yeah, this stun damage in this game. It's is very hot. lame. Okay, yep, yep. yep. Okay, what happened? I'm just gonna say he moves one down on the condition track, even though he actually didn't. So you yeah, I shoot think him. Some, with I think the stun we need to make weapon. some adjustments to the stun damage at some point. Yeah. I'm I trying to knock you Basically, the moral of the story is nothing. never use stun damage because it's really lame. I know. Yeah, that's why you I sacrifice all of your damage. Some... 
for a very low chance of actually going over the damage threshold because your basic regular attacks very rarely do that. So like he's like, don't shoot, I surrender. And then like when you fire and he sees that it's just a stun blast, he just like, he goes, pa. <laughs> I think next time you just use the bend of your gun to the face. Wait till he okay, sees me though. coming down the hall. <laughs> hey! Yeah! <laughs> so, so I'm sorry, I'm confused. There was like a bunch of people talking at once. Did he not take damage? What happened? What was the no, he took it? damage and he moved one down on the condition track. But he was just scoffing at your use of stun damage. Like he basically. He was like, oh, I surrender, because he, he didn't like want to get shot with like a full-fledged laser blast to the face, but then like he only shot him with a stun weapon, and he thought that was lame, so he was scoffing at you. He won't be scoffing when he's asleep. <laughs> and that's what I said, next time use the butt end of your gun to his face. Okay, Lexa, the turbo lift is open. Is that a better, I... more effective thing? Probably makes your nose bleed, so, yeah. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> They knocked us unconscious with nerve gas. I take Kalani into the elevator and I just say, Come on, hurry up! Quit playing around with the cat! Okay. Actually, yeah, I guess the little tiny droid is attacking his DH5 Alpha is attacking too. And he didn't attack last time, so he'll get two attacks. And besides, the big droid has command module link to him, doesn't he? It's not functional. Oh. I thought he fixed it. Out of character, I'm pretty sure Lexus stole it, but that's the point. <laughs> okay, so Zar get shot by the little tiny droid. Elon, you can sprint down the hallway. Yes, I will sprint. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. there we go. What we'll to say you're there? Okay. And about right, when I get right here, I'm like, "Hi guys, I brought presents." And lugging the cannon on my <laughs> in my arms. Bandoliers of grenades over his shoulder, some okay. explosive charges on his DH side. <laughs> DH5 Alpha asks, should I carry call to the turbo lift? Yes, probably, come on, come we can on. probably deal with him. Without you. Okay, so that he runs into the turbo lift with Lexa. Okay, he, um... Yeah, he tries to escape again with his jetpack. Let me roll up and see if that equals or exceeds. Oh, it equals. Now let's go look up the grapple rules. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he breaks free. Still jugging. Okay, he breaks free and um, slashes his Viper Blade at Dell. Well, what what at what type of round action is breaking out of grapple? I don't know, a magical round and action. Active, but it also has to activate his jetpack, and also does the level uses left in his jetpack, like charges. You can only hold five charges in a jetpack. I thought it was ten. Yeah. No, it's definitely five. But he didn't activate his jetpack. His jetpack is, hard, is just continually on. But each round it counts as another charge being used up. It does? Yeah. That's why, I, as Ajax, I barely ever used it. I thought it was just like to turn it on and require No, it it's, it's fuel. So oh. moving down the hallway each round, we get the jetpack on, uses one charge. Well, not these awesome jetpacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's making this guy had a sound more and more inept. <laughs> Yeah, that misses. <laughs> okay. Because... Del, might, well... I, might I say everybody might want to move? Don't. He's, he, he's grabbed again. Okay. And I move him a little, one square away from Del. You don't want to move him, like, Stop. into the turbo lift, maybe? <laughs> Okay, oh, but then I can't hit him the next round. I'll, I'll move him toward one, two, three. I'll move him the third square away from Doe towards the turbo lift. 
So he can move towards him, smack him, and then keep moving. And also, before I do that, I move away one square because I don't want to be right next to him. If y'all don't have that cat under control, I'm going to take care of it myself. Oh, he'll be under control. That would be nice. I'm going to put okay, my needle right up to him. Okay, <clears throat> I grab my uh, back right by the muzzle, wind up, and just swing the butt of it right at the side of his head. Okay. So what do, what do I roll for that? Um, 1d20 plus your base attack bonus, plus whatever you roll, plus your strength. Yeah, that would be a melee attack, which would be strength. Okay, 1d20 plus what? Plus base attack plus strength. So your base attack bonus is probably 8. Are we all level no. 8 or are we all level 9? Or 9. Or 9? Okay, so yours is probably 9, because I think you only have plus. classes with base attack. Plus, plus strength plus modifier? Bonus. Plus 11. Okay, yeah, you hit him. How much damage? I mean, uh, one well, a normal one -armed, unarmed attack is like 1d4, but you have a, like a club that you're hitting him with, so... Like 1d, we'll say 1d8. Or 2d4. Two, let's do 2d4. Okay, Dell. That wasn't better than Stan. You see, well, as you, so, I guess, so yeah, so you go up and, like, smack him right across the face, and, uh, we'll say that you, like, break his nose, and his lip starts bleeding. Okay, that hits him. I hope it exceeds his fortitude too. Alexa. Alright, that's it. I'm taking care of this. I'm putting Kalani down. <laughs> okay. I'm breaking up my needler and I'm gonna walk right up to him. I can't see, so you're gonna have to move me. Oh, yeah, because you're inside the terminal lift. Okay. I don't think you have to move and me. Get right up to him. And I'm putting my needler right up against him, like, right on his chest. Okay. And firing it at me. <laughs> what it does, and I'm not missing. He flails and kicks your hand out of the way <laughs> as you pull the trigger. You ask for the uh -uh. bubbles? No, if I have to, I'll hold his leg. But I'm done. We gotta go. Oh no! no. <laughs> yes, Dell, please. I right. <laughs> purposely made it right there. Okay, reroll. Reroll. What nonsense is this? No, I meant Alexa reroll. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> like, dice are, dice are vile, vile things. <laughs> I don't oh, really. I, 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 I really. I don't feel like I should be rolling to hit. I should be rolling for damage because it's. I'm touching him. I'm making okay. sure. But the reason you have to roll is because we wouldn't be able to have these story elements if you didn't roll. <laughs> We're all so in that. So out of the way. Makes no sense. I really How can I hate miss dice. 
because his hands aren't restrained, uh -huh. so he's like grabbing your hand and like no, I pushing said, it. No, I said like I would. I'm taking my other hand and I'm gonna. I, I'm making everything I can. To okay, you guys can make opposed grapple checks, and if you win, you get to just deal damage. Otherwise, we'll say he somehow dodged. Yep. Okay, that's how that's how you missed. <laughs> somehow, like right when you're pulling the trigger, he like shoves it to the side, and the, and the neither both just like go right past him and into the. Well, um, okay. Into the. Right, right. no, you're just you're a bad blow. You are a bad blow. Actually, we'll see if they go into. Uh, I can go into the floor. Floor sounds good. <laughs> or into his jetpack. Yeah. It's so they really just interesting. Miss. They destroy yes. uh, for them to hit Dell. <laughs> I just think it's. I mean, because you, you guys are already in like this duel of like saying that each other are bad bounty hunters, and <laughs> I think it's just hilarious that you do that and he is able to like dodge it. He just looks at yeah. you. And but he shakes his head. Right. All right. He Bring just shakes on. his head at you and says, "The Scarlet Hunter." <laughs> I'm gonna just punch him next time. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> that's, what, that's what John started doing. I can hit him with my rifle in the face okay. and he just It's not me. effective, just punch him. If you fire a rocket at us. It's not a rocket, this is an energy weapon. It's a shoulder mounted cannon. Yeah, I've just about given up, it, so I think yeah. I'm gonna just give him a real one next time. It is a blaster cannon, it is an energy weapon, it fires bolts of energy. It is considered a vehicle grade weapon. I'm going to raise it up and aim it and take a full turn to do that because this thing is a massive mountain here. And I'm going to tell everybody, get out of the way or you're going to be pissed. Leave the dude there. And it's a thing of, you better surrender or else I'm pulling the trigger. Okay, uh, he just says, and kill all your friends. Do we need to be the turn order to all just disperse? Well, his turn was first, so he got a turn, but now you guys can all just disperse. If you yeah, want. I'm moving. But he's the only one we're going to get information out of. It's not Trendos good enough. Totally kill him! <laughs> mm, this is no, where I create him. It. Listen, we can just go into the elevator with him and keep wailing on him until he finally... No, no, you should just you should just mind shard him and then I'll hit him the next turn and he'll be unconscious and he'll be good. I can't do that. Guys, I've already it's tried. it's a ploy. It's a ploy. Disperse. <laughs> At least move. Let me check the range on that because it's an AoE weapon. Yeah, it's just two. It's two square. Disperse. Okay, I'll go that far away then. Trust and me. And I will move. I will move the guy. Oh, over. it's not like normal area of effect. It's different. It, it it's just does half damage to adjacent people to your target. It doesn't actually use a two by two square. Interesting. Yeah. Right there, so that there are no uh, soldiers. So, kind of maybe adjacent to him. Um, all those soldiers are dead. We don't know that maybe some of them are just bleeding out. Well, that's true. Better safe than sorry. Good work, Picaz. Rescuing the helpless people. Yeah, right. Everyone else is- you, you two are gonna disperse, right? We're just gonna leave him on a little island floating by himself. Yeah, do you guys back away or what? Well, I can still attack first, and then I can back away. Okay, yeah. We, we can have your turns. Decision time, Kappa. That one with the big gun that had enough of you. Is he unconscious yet? Oh, he's close. <laughs> one more, I'm pretty sure. Anyone with a stun weapon can take him out now. You say that, but... But then we'd miss horribly. <laughs> With like his minus like 10 to reflex defense. You're in range, uh, can't hurt to try. Yeah, okay, try. Alexa. Please don't 
tell me it did something this time. Yeah, so how does that point blank needler, how does the needler work? Is it stun damage? It's always stun damage. It's at least with a paralytic poisoner. Is there, like, a, does it roll that, or is it just uh, act no, as a... No, it's just, it's oh, just, it's just part of it. Then. Okay. Yeah, uh, it... Um, it fires uh, tiny rays of ultra-struck darts that penetrate shields and drill into targets' bodies. Wait, so it has to go over his damage threshold in order to actually move him one down? <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay. Well, we're just gonna pretend that that's not part of the rules. <laughs> So, and moves one down. City. Yeah, it, it's like penetrating. It's like just like yeah. the needler from Halo. Like he's got little darts inside of him now. Okay. He's you still conscious. Go, yeah. No, he's he's still okay. conscious. But that's gotta be super weird. Yeah. Okay, now it is Alon's turn. What does Alon do? He says, "All right, lad." Right, I give you an opportunity. Here you go. You didn't surrender. He bears his fangs at you. Did you have training with whatever kind of weapon that is? It's an energy weapon. I didn't add my bonus or whatnot to it, so you can add to it or subtract to it what you want. Uh, I haven't rolled damage for it yet because it's a. But counts as a heavy weapon. Is that a? You need weapon proficiency, heavy weapon to use it. Is that a type of weapon you can have? I don't know. It's separate from a pistol. Um, I have a blaster rifle and pistol. So I don't think I have heavy. Yeah, so you have minus five. Well, the good news is that he is very low on the condition track, so that uh, hits him. Phoenix spills his brains out on the pavement. <laughs> it does 3d12. Oh, only does 3d12. Wow. That's like weak sauce. Right <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is weak sauce right there. I was aiming so... Like it scorches his arm. Oh, you're aiming? Okay. Ten damage. He just starts laughing. <laughs> Can do. <laughs> As he's feeling like Yo, very crabby and sleepy with the, the poisons going through yes. his veins. So he's like delirious and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. I mean, to be honest, because it's kind of laughing at this point. Not just well, you specifically, but the entire situation of how hard it is to knock this guy out when yeah. he knocked the Transocean out already. I mean, that's because oh, yeah. he surrendered. So he had like an open blow to the back of the skull. Okay, Pecan, yeah. it's your turn. Did he surrender or is he unconscious or? No, none of you. Okay, then he had the opportunity. I'll pull the trigger again. Oh, it's Pecan's turn. Does anyone want to do anything well, yeah. before no. it gets to no. I'm telling you, you don't what? Want to use an what? No, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, knock okay. him out. Okay. I'm saying Del Delfer and go knock him out so we can drag him in. <laughs> Let's get this over with. We don't need to kill him. Nat one coming. Sober. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, look, I hit him, yay! Okay, yep. So, you yeah. Win. He falls I'm gonna say, like, because of scraps. <laughs> Can we go as now? He, as you go to swing at him, he's like, Oh, look, a snake! <laughs> I was like, shut up. <laughs> okay, so he goes limp. And I w walk with him, suspended into the, the uh, elevator. Wait, wait, wait. Before you put him in the elevator, I'm punching him in the face. <laughs> well, you can do that in the elevator. You can do that many times in the elevator while he's floating. It, I just want to do it before he gets in. I just. Oh, I know. forgot. Even better, while this was happening, Dirk like arrived and he's just like staring at you all. It was a good idea. I should have just got the rocket launcher. It would have been fun. You can just <laughs> punch him while he walks past. Yeah, I'm, as, before you get to the elevator, fast. I'm just punching him in the face. I mean, and considering I'm moving him through the air, you can get the momentum, so hit the momentum of me moving him and your fist. Bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm winding up. into the elevator, and then, uh, backs up punches Let's in. do it. 
How much damage do I need to roll? I, I picture him walking up and looking exactly like he does on his token. 1d4 plus six. And I also dropped a you might blaster kill. cannon out in the hallway because that thing is heavy. I'm not carrying it with me. Okay. But once we're in the elevator, I dis uh, distribute, you know, power packs and the bandolier. Okay, and all that. so everyone gets on the turbo lift, and that's where we will wrap up our very super long session. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With everyone in the turbo lift, like ex this, is, this is the exact same turbo lift we started the session in. Yeah. Woo anyway, I gotta run. Good night, guys. Night. Night. Disconnected from your channel. Uh, thank y'all for joining us in on YouTube. I hope y'all have a good night and God bless. <laughs>